Uh, what's going on, guys? So we've already – this is going to be our last, like, as far as beating coverage um, plays go uh, because we've beat all the other coverages. But uh, we'll do – I'll do a couple cover two man plays, but most of the time you're not going to see cover two man. When you see cover – when you see man, it's going to be a blitz because um, people just don't – people just don't run the – man if they're not blitzing um, because it's so vulnerable in the in defense but uh this is the same one of the same plays we used to beat the cover two just the regular cover two it'll also beat the cover two man um and it's just these these little wheel routes here the wheel route is the best route against man defense this year um, so i like i like running backs running backs especially against man are huge um whether it's like that that little route there or uh, like a wheel route out of the running back position uh, the halfback angle routes are really good um, but this play this play is good to beat man and if you have if they are blitzing then to make this adjustment here I don't know why Breeze can't actually throw an accurate pass on this play um, Lamar Jackson it's that pretty well every time but uh, if they are blitzing you can block you have extra people to block, and you can just uh, hit hit the uh, hit the receiver on the wheel route there. Uh, you can also put your running back on a wheel route, and then block the two tight ends. And then a lot of times they, if they're blitzing, they're gonna not have the running back covered because um, when they when they blitz all their linebackers, that's the that's the route that they give up, or that's the the player they give up is actually the running back. Um, so many times you have them just wide open. We're gonna get a touchdown here, Drew Brees, real quick. But uh, so that's that's how I kind of cover two man. I'm mostly I would mostly be running against anybody running cover two man um, because it puts you in baseline, and baseline is kind of hard to defend the run out of. Uh, so we'll get into the blitzes here now. I just wanted to do a a quick. I mean. I, I don't I think I may have played one player the last two weekend leagues that ran cover two man. I think he probably rage quit in the first in the first half. So um as far as beating the blitz, so this doubles halfback week, this is Raiders formation, or Raiders playbook, this doubles halfback week has a play that digs wide corner uh, that you don't have to make any adjustments in. So if you look at that play, if they press their coverage this is a touchdown every time, and of course the defense isn't going to press their coverage. But um, all you all you're going to do here, I like to put a little slant route on Traquan Smith if they're not pressing, because then he's going to be open. Um, if they do press, you just bomb it over the top to uh, to Ted Ginn or whoever's your right your right sided receiver. Um, so all all you're doing on this play is just you're reading if they're press if you see if they press or not. If they don't press. And then you just got this easy play. Um, if they do press, let me see if I can get. Let me see if I can get a blitz where they press. Um, because it's it's even easier to beat them. So it's uh, doubles halfback week. We got digs wide corner. We're going to. Uh, we're going to. Ready. Five eight, five eight. Uh, huh. I don't. I don't know. I'm not real familiar with practice plays because I don't. I don't run it very often. I don't do practice mode. But um, there's got to be like maybe a mid blitz or something. No, probably not. Okay. So even on the see even on this mid blitz where they're well of course he throws an inaccurate pass, but uh you have these you have these same plays. See they're kinda of pressed up even on this, but you have these same routes where it's just it's easy. Um, and you see how that guy kinda of makes a little wheel route on the outside there? That's what beats the man coverage. Um so if we if we run it there's another play like that that's similar like this that also will beat the man coverage. Uh, and it's all wheel routes are, are my favorite thing to beat man 
You can also run corner routes and you can run um, those slants. The post routes, it depends on the post route. It, it's any hard cutting route is really, really good against man. I feel like man's the easiest, maybe not the easiest thing to beat because uh, zone's pretty easy to beat, but um, man is the easiest thing to have like a specific route to beat it. Uh, where you, you know if they're in man, you're, you're going to beat the route. So um, here's one out of a run formation. One of You can audible. So I like to run out of uh, I form close, but you can audible to the I form Y off. And this PAFL hitch um, is a very good, very good man beater. If, again, when they go to stop the run, they're usually pressing. So now we got him finally pressing. So I'll just block this. I'll give like a slant right here. So see how he he breaks up. Oh, he's pressing because he's got a safety help over the top. Okay. Um, but this is this will show you the route though, like how it works to beat the man. Um, so if you see how he presses, all that route does is it just gives him the release off of it, and then just if you have a decent receiver, um, like I have Randy Moss with streak specialist, um, you can. You can use any any receiver though that can get off the line. See, he just rips away and then he's just gone. Um, now you wouldn't be running this typically with cover two help, or with safety help over the top, um, but since this is the only thing that's giving me press coverage, I just want to show you how the route works and how it beats the the man coverage. Um, so that's that's just another another route to to beat man. Um, and those, that's that's going to be your one-play touchdown right there. Uh, and then we have, we'll have the old wheel routes that are easy money. So especially against like a single high safety man coverage. Um, we go back to this. This is the play I showed you to beat the cover two with the uh, with the post route and the in route with the wide receiver. Um, so this is let's let's get a single high safety look like out of quarter or something something with a decent Ready. decent uh, pass coverage. So this is that cover two look that I, that I was telling you where you you either just hit the um hit the post route or if he uses a post route then you hit the inside the inside route. Well then a lot of times if you're just carving them up with that then they'll switch to like some kind of man concept like this. So all you're doing is just letting that wheel route get out there and just kind of straight over the top. I like to pass lead up the field, catch and run, and he's he's pretty well gone every time. Uh, the wheel route is, it just beats man. If you can get a wheel route, um, you're, you're good to go. And I like to set up my wheel routes with other routes. Because um, once once you get them into man, it's, it's easy to hit those wheel routes because they'll be blitzing. Um, so they don't have a lot of help and a lot of times they'll use her wheel routes so if you can get a wheel route on both sides um, that's pretty useful too and there is a play that has uh, double wheel routes here let me let me show you well first of all the that verticals play that I showed you to start with has double wheel routes but uh, one of the wheel routes is a tight end so the best the best thing is to get um, two receivers on the wheel route and you get that in, not this, you have to put, uh, you put this strong, strong slots here, and then it's this four verticals out of this formation, and we'll bring a blitz on us, just outside linebacker Ready. fireman. Ready. So here, since I, since I adjusted my, who's in my slots uh, positions, then it's just double wheel routes coming out. So if he uses one side, you just hit the other side. That was kind of a glitchy bump there. That doesn't usually happen. Um, but that that's just... Uh, and then, of course, it happens back-to-back -back plays. But that's just unfortunate. I'm, I mean, usually if, if they use one side and they get the glitchy bump on the other, then... Not much you can do, but uh, you can s you can see that the the wheel routes are open every time pretty well like that. He almost picked that off actually, but um, the 
it's just it's just making it easy on yourself really to just run run these plays and i don't i've never seen them bump like that every time i don't know if that's just a computer thing like uh, in practice mode or what that is but uh, typically you can run this play a hundred times and that'll happen like four or five um and what let's see let me think of one more Oh, well, I mean, we got to go to that five wide uh, verts play, don't we? What, what would a video be without this play? Um, so we'll just go to, we'll just do a quarter. I mean, we're going to any, any big man concept. This is like probably the hardest man to beat right here. So we're just going to put him on a streak just like that. We can't tell if he's, we can obviously tell he's in man because everybody's manned up on it. But um, we snapped the ball. All we're going to do is playmaker our tight end down the field and then possession catch. So to playmaker him down, all you do is just flick the right stick uh, down. You just flick it straight back down, um, and that'll bring the tight end straight. Uh, it'll pin, bring him off his route, and he'll be be open. So he can, he can beat man pretty easy. Um, as far as the other people beating man, uh, then... I like to run, like if they're blitzing, I'll run like a quick out route and just hit them just in stride. Um, and then if I get down to the goal line, uh, this is gonna, this is my favorite goal line play, uh, like on with inside the three yard line. So you should be able to speed this up. I don't know if you still can. So uh, what, what you're going to do on this, this play on the three yard line is you're going to run, 12, 12, 12. I still go to this, the four verts, and then, I guess it's kind of five, but I run a zig route with Thomas and a go, zig route go. with the right slot. He just comes in, beats the man, and we just possession catch on the outside. Um, if they run zone, Ready? then then usually that kill, kill, kill. the Jared Cook will get in behind the zone. Hey, um, so all it is is just find the one that beat them man and uh usually they i don't know why he didn't even look for that ball but you can even put an uh, x on a slant if you want but see that zig route just it's just such a good man beater um it's just easy and the zig route is my it's probably my favorite route to beat man man coverage so um that's pretty well it for for man uh man coverage i didn't actually mean to throw that but um, on this play too, uh, all you do is just whatever side the user's on, you just throw it to the opposite side. So if he's user on that left side, I'm just hitting Traquan Smith right there. And all you're doing is waiting for him to break back. And um, that's how you get the least glitchy throws and that's when he's the most wide open. So, uh, I love to throw it to my left slot guy. Just hit it right there. I don't know why he dropped that, but, um, that's it for beating man coverage. Uh, you don't see a ton of man coverage unless you're seeing man blitzes. And just remember, wheel route, wheel route, wheel route if you're uh, if you're facing a lot of man coverage. Now, thank you guys. Uh, if you got any any other videos you want to see, uh, if you need me to clarify anything, uh, if you think this sucks and there's a better way to do it, then let, just let me know. Um, otherwise, you guys take care. Thank you.